What is up guys, Luther Racing 00 here, and I'm just making another diecast video. If you hear football in the background, we're watching the Chiefs versus the Texans game, that is why. And just get right into it. First off, we have a cattle trailer in my 2012 Chevy Silverado. This truck was slammed and had a bike in the back, you can kind of see the mount, put a fifth wheel hitch in it, and then Cut the axle off, lifted it, painted it white, put some black accents on it, really nice looking truck, put a hitch and exhaust on it, real nice looking truck, one of my favorite trucks, for sure, I'll just put that over there, so yeah, it's just a normal turtle cattle trailer, next up we have a couple of customs, like, that car is a custom for me, if I raised your track for the street, this is a custom for Austin Jackson, otherwise known as L or J Farm Squad. Just a pretty simple paint scheme, Hawkeye paint scheme. I am here from Iowa, so Hawkeyes are pretty big around here. Yep, number O2 is the number that he likes to use. Got Drinker, American Eats Farmer, um, Peter's Attire, Rice. BNR LRD. LRD stands for Luther Racing Designs. Because, of course, I designed this car, I designed that car. So, yeah, another nice car. Put that by mine. Next up, we have. I don't really know about this car. I got bored one night and I saw these two colors. I thought they looked really good together. I mean, you got light, Miller Light, uh, 12, LRD again. Five Finger Death Punch, Custom Diesel Driver Training, LRD, the flag on the roof, LJ, Custom Diesel Driver Training, just really nice looking car, you saw this in the last video, it was in the double decker hauler, and speaking of that, let's go to the other car that was in the double decker hauler, the 1C, see this car used to be a number double O car, I switched it, Cancer Sucks, Casey's Custom Diesel Driver Training, LRD. Another car that is just like for random Casey's Yeet Focus. There we go. Uh, you can see Yeet, Casey's, Peterson Tire. Yeah, sorry about the focus thing. Getting used to this. And then just, I don't got anything on the back besides the Chevy logo. Cancer, a lot of cancer sucks, or a lot of uh, cancer crosses. And then, uh, spoiler. Pretty nice car. And then, that is all for my customs. Now, this is one of the coolest cars that I have for sure. The Dale Earnhardt first ever car. The K2, Dale Goodyear, Dayvault Tune Up and Brake Service. Ray George Bob. I mean, this car is a really beautiful car. Now, you see, when I got this car, the rims were black, so I just painted them white to make it more um, detailed, I guess you could say. 1956 Crown Victoria. Or is it just a. I think this is just a Victoria. I'm not sure if it's a crown. Well, anyways, that's Dale Earnhardt's first ever car. Definitely one of the coolest cars that I have. I know that you can't see all those cars over there, but... Now we're getting into the NASCARs that I have. And we'll just go truck series and up, so... And these are only a portion of them. I have a ton that, if you would like, I can put in next video. So this is Chase Briscoe's dirt car. Aldora win 2017, no 2018. I've had this truck for a little while now. It was one of the first trucks I got. I really like the dirt details on this. I think it looks really good. I put the banner on it, and I need to put it Briscoe in the back of that. But yeah, definitely nice truck. You can see all the scuffs and stuff on it from the race. This is of course the race version. Yeah, that's a pretty nice truck. The next truck I 
I got this truck for Christmas because I did not find it in the store. These trucks were the same way, which means Matt crafted 88 Menards. Really nice truck. I need to fill in those pink chips. Those are annoying me now. Um, Menards, Steel Best, 88, Matt Crafton. Let's put the banners on this one as well. Really nice truck. Neon is one of my favorite colors, so definitely in my color wheel for sure. And your 2019 <clears throat> Gander Outdoor Truck Series Champion. Excuse me. Next up is your Noble Gregson. Or William Byron, I suppose, but I use it as Noah Gregson. Noah, William Byron, that's going to confuse me now. 2018 Exalta. This is just one of the Exalta cars that you could get. I got this one. I saw him get his first career win at Iowa for the Xfinity Series. Pretty cool to see that. I think that he can do something special in 2020. Next up for the Xfinity series, we have Justin Allgaier's number seven car. It looks pretty nice, pretty nice car all around. Got the corn stripe, Brant seven. I mean, this car is pretty basic design wise, but it's bright orange, so I like the paint choice for sure. Now we are into the Cup series, and all. Probably just go in numerical order for this one. First off, we got Kurt Busch's 2019 Gearish number one car. Definitely a really nice car. I mean, I wasn't too sure about getting this at first, but now that I have it, I like it a lot. Really nice car. One Gearish, Kroger, all your contingency sponsors, Kurt Busch, one. Really nice car, Chip Ganassi had a couple of nice cars this year. This one's probably one of my favorites. Next, you tried rolling back into the frame. Next up will be one of the cooler games I have. Brad Kozlowski's Worth car. The one at Kansas with this car. Really nice looking car. I mean, the design on this car is beautiful. The white rims, red spoiler too. Kozlowski had a lot of good paint schemes this year, it seems like, but he had a new paint scheme every week, which was, it was a lot, I mean, he had, he had almost too many paint schemes, probably too many paint schemes, but this one was probably one of his best for sure. I mean, you can see discount tire snap on, so, if you look up really close, you can see that he has... Two race one stickers there. And then, so next up will be two Kevin Harvick. Huge Harvick fan. So this is his Daytona car two can. Harvick had a lot of cool paint schemes. He didn't like overdo it. I mean he had like there's a point of overdoing it and just like overdoing it, having too many and just like right in the spot where there's enough depending on how good they are. I think Harvick had enough, like if he did, he didn't do way too many. And then there's the My Car Your, your Can, oh, my table. And then, yeah, pretty nice car. Yeah, really nice car, one of my favorites. And then, my favorite car from this year, probably the Millennial car. A lot of people didn't like it. I loved it. I mean, you got the skirt, skirt, the Isbay, Yeet, Bush AF, turn to left. Congratulations, you tried the Bush with the Snapchat filter, frog and soup, squad goals. Nice car all around. I love this car. Now we're getting down to the last two cars. First up, Ryan Laney Moneyline. Got this car a couple days ago as well. Pretty nice car. Wasn't sure about it, but yeah. Really nice car. Menards, Moneyline, all that. Pins oil. Now, this paint scheme is obviously a basic paint, paint, scheme, paint scheme, but 
I mean, on some cars it works. Like they need to change the pencil or one bad. This is Martin Short Jr. Sirius XM number 19. Has pro shops. Pretty nice looking car. One of my favorites. Got this a couple days ago as well. And that's it. So, this will be Luther Racing Go Blow signing off.